All right, YouTube. Here is my next video. Today I'm coming to you from Peterson Air Force Base in this beautiful aircraft. Look at this. Access to this great information. Today's topic is having an emergency fund. Very, very important. Because I guarantee that you, just like me, will one day have an emergency. 100% guaranteed we will have an emergency. The question is how are we going to handle that? Will we have the finances to handle that? As you know, let's go ahead and take a walk over here so you can see this great museum. When you have an emergency, it's a very stressful situation. It has been for me. And you don't want to have the added stress of where am I going to pay, get the funds to pay for the emergency. So let me give you some examples of an emergency. Your car needs repairs. You have to fly back to your home state, wherever that is, for a funeral, to see an ill parent, family member. Remember, as a service member, in most cases, you will not be in the state where you're from. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're from Texas, but you're stationed in Florida. Or let's say you are from California, but you're stationed overseas. It's going to be very expensive for you to fly back if a military hop is not available. That's an emergency. And like I said, you will have an emergency, guaranteed, just like I will too. It's part of life. And we don't want to be stressed even more financially. So let me also say that your emergency fund will be completely different from your savings account, or it should be different. Okay, you should have two categories. If it's a long weekend and you want to go to the big city near you, or take a vacation, it should not come from your emergency fund because you're depleting your funds. All right? What options do you have? Hopefully you have an emergency fund. If you don't, create one little by little by little. Hopefully the answer is not, I have my credit cards. That's my solution to solving my emergency. Because it is, but it's going to come with interest if you don't pay in full. So make sure that you have a plan uh, use the resources, like I've said before, at your uh, military installation. Look at this great sign out conference. Okay. When is the only good time that you should go to a payday lender? When is, they, when is the only good time that you should go to a payday lender? That is a trick question. The answer is never. Never go to a payday lender. There are better sources. If you do not have the funds, as a service member for you to get assistance. Airmen and Family Readiness Center, uh, Fleet and Family Support Center, Army Community Services, Military One Source is, are options that you may have. Okay, use those before uh, a payday lender. So the next question is, how much should you have in your emergency fund? Great question. Every, it's going to be different for everyone. I will say, at a minimum, your goal should be to have $1,000. Maybe you've heard Dave Ramsey talk about that, and that's absolutely true. Look at the big picture. How much debt do you have? If you have a lot of debt, then try to reduce some of that debt as well. But if you're a single individual, 1000 If you have a family, maybe more. I'm not going to tell you how much you should have. The norm that you may hear is you should have three to six month expenses in your emergency fund. I realize it may take you some time to get there. But I've been there myself and it's taken me some time to where now I have an amount that's comfortable for me and my family. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this very brief tour of this great museum and we'll end with this. My next video is going to be on the topic of finances and fun. You have to have fun as well. Make sure you have fun because you work a lot of uh, hours and you're on standby all the time. Your budget was my second video. This is my third video. This is an emergency fund. In a few days, I'm going to shoot one called Fun for Service Members. Balance that out. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy.